Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is about visiting the oldest wonder of the ancient world. Yes, we are going to visit the pyramids at Giza and just to make it a little more exciting, we are also going to do it on a budget. Let's go. Alright, so the first thing in the morning was to go to the hotel reception and then find out if there were any private tours. There were private tours, but they all were all in the range upwards of $150, $200. I just felt that they were too expensive. So what I did was, I thought I'll just step out and then I'll figure it out as I go. So here I am at the hotel lobby starting my day. I am at the hotel lobby now and soon I'll start with the sightseeing for today. The plan is to go to the pyramids and it's called Haram in Arabic. So let's start. The city life outside had already started and I was greeted with a lot of traffic. Well, since I'm from India, this wasn't something that surprised me. But what did surprise me was this. So I'm in the middle of the street right now. I just found out that there are three ways to get to the pyramids. You can take a car, you can take a metro or you can take a bus. Now the interesting thing is there's no bus stop. So what I have to do is I have to stand here in the middle of the road. I have to wave to the bus and I have to stop it. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I haven't tried that even in India. Now, I don't mind the odd adventure. I would have tried this, but then thinking about the fact that I didn't know how much a transport should cost and also the fact that it was morning, it was rush hour and I did not want to lose time by getting stuck in the traffic. So, I decided I'm going to walk a few minutes reach a metro station which by the way is marked with a big red M and I'm gonna take a metro. Well I have decided to take a metro for the first half of the trip. This is what it looks like and so let's go to While on the train I was extremely fortunate to get some extremely helpful travel advice and tips. We did have a chat and this is what he said. So tell me, what is the best thing about Cairo or Egypt? Uh, for my opinion, it's the food. I like the Egyptian food. Yeah, I was uh, in an international school when right. I was younger, but I was born and raised here. Great. Thank you for your help. You have been very, very helpful. The train was comfortable, air conditioned, not crowded, and before even I knew, I was already there at the destination. I have reached the metro station, which is called Giza. This is the metro station which is nearest to the pyramids. Behind me is the exit, you can also see the M sign. Also, what you see is some cars and some people standing outside. Those are the people I expect will pounce on me as soon as I step out. So let's see how it goes. But the plan from here is to either take a bus and the second option is to take a taxi. Let's see how it goes. We are very close to the pyramids now. The white cars are actually mini buses and to be honest, no one really bothered me while I was passing them. A two minute walk from the station was the main road. Now all I had to do was to cross over to the other side and head in the direction of the pyramids. I decided to take one of these minibuses. The pyramids were around four kilometers away at this point of time. I was feeling all pumped and then this happened. I have a sign that says Pyramids Giza and it's not just a sign because there is the pyramid itself. Now we shall find out how to get in. So. It was a straight road from the station that led to the pyramids and because they're so huge, you can actually see them right from the streets. Right in this moment, when I was in the middle of the traffic, I wondered how it must feel for these locals living around the pyramid complex. I mean, they have this view every day while they went about doing their daily calls. A few minutes walk from this point and I was already at the pyramid complex. The entrance also had the ticket office. I cannot explain the feeling I had once I was there inside the complex. All these years, looking at the pictures, reading stories from the pyramids and all these mysteries, and today I was here, finally. In fact, I did end up putting some words together while I was there. Guys, the scene behind me needs no introduction. These are the three pyramids of Giza. You can also see the Sphinx here. All the arrangements for the chairs is for what is called the light and sound show that happens of course at night. On my right is a street or you know, like a queue of a lot of these small shops selling a lot of souvenirs and items like that. Now the way to the Sphinx leads via a small temple. It was interesting to know that the huge stones are just kept on top of each other without any adhesive material between them. 
The Sphinx, like the pyramids, is a favorite photo point of many tourists. I was stunned to know that the entire body of the lion was made from just one single stone. I mean, imagine. This was done 4000 or 4500 years ago. Incredible. The distance from the Sphinx to the pyramids takes around 10 minutes on foot and to be honest, it's perfectly walkable. The closer I got to the pyramids, the more massive it appeared. I have to admit, from a distance, the pyramids, they look like small bricks stacked together. But while I was at the base, I was stunned to see the size of the stones. Some of them were almost 2 meters in height. And it was so steep and huge that I couldn't even see the top while I was at the base. The more I walked around, the more dwarfed I felt by the sheer size of the pyramids. It was just amazing and it was stunning. It, it was an experience, I tell you. My visit to Egypt was extremely spontaneous. So spontaneous that I didn't know that I was going to be there until two days in advance. So I did not really have any time to do any research. So based on all that, I'm extremely lucky that I did not fall for any of these tourist scams. And also I could do all this and I mean I could fit all this sightseeing in a tight budget. Speaking of budget, the, the metro ride uh, to and from, so it cost me 10 in total, 5 Egyptian pounds each way. And the minibus that I took, that also cost me 3 Egyptian pounds each way, so that's like 6. And uh, for entrance to the pyramid complex, uh, the tickets are 120 Egyptian pounds. And uh, what else? Yeah, I did have to buy an extra ticket for my uh, camera and the tripod, so that was another 20. So all in all, it was around 160 Egyptian pounds which is not even $10, it's a little bit less than that. Having said that, I did not have a guide and I walked while exploring most of the pyramid complex. And of course, I used public transport, which by no means was uncomfortable. I was very comfortable and it was very convenient as well. All right guys, that was the video about visiting the pyramids. Give me some feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on what you think about it, or post a comment in case you have a question. I'll try to answer that. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because that's going to motivate me a lot. I'll see you in the next one.